Hey guys, Paladin Piper. Coming to you today with um, more of a newbie um, topic. And, um, or maybe something that, you know, even the veterans like to hear occasionally. And that is how to choose your first pipe tobacco. Now, um, I think that all stems from a couple things. Um, what kind of person you are, um, what is your background, and I'll explain that in a second, <clears throat> and, you know, who, well, who, if anyone, will maybe be joining you or be around you while you're doing, uh, while you're having a pipe. So the first thing is, what kind of person are you? Uh, do you like sweet, do you have a sweet tooth? Um, do you love, like, salty foods? Do you love... Uh, steak and, and potatoes and rich <clears throat> food, decadent, you know, that type of thing. Um, do you like um, sour things? Do you like fruits? Do you like, you know, kind of what are your taste buds that you like with food? And I think that will um, guide you to um, the choices that you would like in, in pipe tobaccos. And, um, pardon me. And so then, um, the second being, uh, third being, we'll, we'll go third, you know, of who you're going to smoke around. So if you're, if you, like my wife, um, if you guys have watched any of my channel, you'll know that my wife is not a fan of certain blends. Um, and so if you're going to smoke around uh, loved ones or significant others or friends or in public or whatever, um, that might curb your, 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 what choice you pick. Um, and then the last part is, you know, if you, if you lean toward, um, decadent, uh, very, very rich, heavy, um, you know, those type of, of flavors versus like a really light kind of, you know, you, you know, like I, I, I guess in my mind, it's like steak and potatoes with like, you know, smothered in onions and, and butter and all that versus like, you know, a sandwich, <laughs> you know. So um, I thought I would give uh, people my recommendations for new pipe smokers. Um, also, uh, the second thing, before I forget, is are you a previous smoker? Now, uh, previous cigar smoker, previous cigarette smoker, maybe you're a vapor, 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 vapor. anyway, um, vape, vape, vaping, I don't know, anyway, um, you know, and, and, you know, that might drive your tastes of what you want, um, maybe you're trying to stop cigarette smoking, maybe you're trying to stop vaping, maybe you're trying to stop cigar smoking, I don't know, I'm just picking them out, you know, and I think that will play a role in what you choose. So I thought I would take you through and kind of show you guys a little bit of my evolution. Um, and I'm always still evolving, uh, you know, and I think that's one of the fun things about this hobby is that it is so diverse. Um, I was never a cigarette smoker. <clears throat> um, I was kind of a casual cigar smoker in college, got into it, and then I uh, got kind of more serious in the hobby, I guess, and then um, kind of just fell into pipe tobacco because uh, it's just... I always look cool smoking a pipe, you know? Uh, and then the flavors just kind of blossomed from there. Now, I had some rough, rough times. Um, and um, basically, um, like my my name on here, you know, and I've told that story before, you know, is from the tobacco that, you know, got me to be able to feel comfortable, you know, having an occasional pipe, uh, you know, and, and having a moderate pipe. Uh, but anyway... But that has, of course, blossomed a little bit. But, so, a lot of people will tell you to steer clear of the OTC blends in the beginning. And I don't think that's necessarily bad advice. Um, but I don't necessarily think that that's the best advice either, depending on your preferences, you know. Um, so, like I said, you know, going back to, are you know, what are your tastes? Are you a previous smoker? And, you know, who are you going to be around? I think all of that plays a role. So um, some of the OTC blends are nice. I, you know, my favorite is an OTC blend. Um, but there are others, and I'll show you those, others that are a little more harsh on you, you know, until you kind of figure out what you 
what you like. So um, anyway, so if you are going, maybe I would recommend an OTC blend if you are a former smoker of something, um, whether that's cigarettes or uh, cigars. And my reasoning is, is because most of them are burly or have burly in them, and that's a lot of times what's in cigarettes. Um, so you, that flavor will kind of be there for you. So um, you can go all the way from the cheapy, cheapy, cheapies at Super Value. Now this is Ultra. Um, I actually just found this uh, before I started this video, so um, I'll have to include this when I review it in my pouch series. But anyway, um, that's two dollars and like eighty-six cents, I think, is what I looked it up. So you know you can do that now. Not gonna lie, Super Value for the most part is pretty crappy, um, but it is a place to start if that's what you wanted. Um, moving up, you know, um, you've got one of the tried and true, um, and some people love it, some people hate it, but Velvet. Um, Velvet has a very long, rich history in America. It was the tobacco that the troops smoked in World War II. Um, it's just, it's timeless, you know. It is a burly based, so um, with kind of a liquor topping. So, you know, um, that's something that might be, you know, for you to try. Um, my wife doesn't mind the aroma, um, but you know, so it's pleasant, but it may not be for everybody. Uh, second one is my favorite, a third one, excuse me, is my favorite, which is Paladin. Now, Paladin's a cherry, um, and it's kind of a chocolate cherry burly, again, burly based. Um, burns pretty cool, but you know, again, $4, so that's an OTC that you may want to try. Um, Lane Limited Ready Rubbed, another beautiful, um, just nice burly, kind of a sugar sweet. Um, also Sir Walter Raleigh's kind of right there in, in, with Lane Limited Ready Rubbed. It used to be the old Edgeworth Ready Rubbed. Um, and then the next one, which a lot of people love, Carter Hall. Okay, Carter Hall's classic. Um, you know, it's not my favorite OTC, but they're, you know, it's cool smoking, it's easy, it's cheap, you can pick it up. I think it's very, very, very warranted that, um, you know, new, newbies give it a try. Um, and then probably, and I'm gonna admit this, and even though I do like this blend, but I've had to learn to like this blend, this is probably one, if you're gonna say, hey, you know what, I wanna try an OTC. I probably wouldn't start with this one, um, but I do love it now, is Half and Half. Now, Half and Half, um, excuse me, is Burley and Bright Virginia, and um, with a licorice topping. First, the reason I said don't, don't maybe start with Half and Half is because the licorice topping, you know, people either love it or hate it. Um, and then two is it can burn a little hot, you know, and, and give you some tongue bite and discourage you from doing anything else with the pipe. So um, but those are my kind of my general OTC blends. Okay. So that's somewhere if you might want to start. And again, that's, I would say most people, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I would think if you have, you know, been, been smoking in the past, uh, cigarettes, cigars, whatever, <clears throat> you'll probably gravitate naturally toward these and I think you'll like them. Now, taking a step up, okay, um, again, um, I'm going to start in the aromatic category. Now, when you, when you get out of the OTCs, you're going to get a higher quality leaf. Um, you're going to get, um, most of the time, there's caveats, but, um, you know, and this, this recommendation here on my aromatic step up is not the end all be all. By all means, I have a lot of different aromatics. Um, but this has always been a crowd pleaser and it's a pretty good one. Um, a lot of aromatics, while they smell really good, they don't taste like anything or they taste horrible. So, um, you know, I would say for a, a new smoke, pipe smoker, yeah, you wanna, you wanna taste the flavor. So if you have a sweet tooth, and again, a type of, of pipe smoker that you might be, or what your, what your food choices are if you've really got a sweet tooth. Um, I really liked Autumn Evening, and that's a Cornell and, Cornell and Deal uh, blend. And Cornell and Deal blends for me are not always home runs, but Autumn Evening is good. Um, very, very uh, room pleaser. Uh, people really like it. Um, they're not gonna run for the hills when you smoke it. Um, so that is, um, yeah, that's, that's a great one. So taking another step up into um, kind of just your your component tobaccos and and component tobaccos are Burley, Virginia, um, Latakia, um, Oriental, and Turkish, 
and Dark Fired Kentucky. Okay, so um, taking just a step up, and, and again, it's going to be a step up in nicotine too. And that's, I think, a real, real talk you have to have with yourself is if you've never had anything before, you probably, you know, some of the low, I would, I would maybe do like a, you know, autumn evening or maybe one of the, the OTC blends just because for me, I'm a big nicotine lightweight. And if you ever want to see me get sick or almost sick, check out Boswell's Northwoods when I review it. Yeah, it was bad. So, um, to that note, I would say, you know, definitely, and everybody's opinion on strength is different. Um, like I said, some people will say that, oh, you know, that's a mild blend and I've had it and I'm like spinning. So, um, you know, you can take, take precautions, but anyway, I tend to find that the OTCs tend to be pretty, pretty low on the nicotine. I mean, I've had them without eating and they've never been a problem and two or three bowls in a row, never a problem. Some of the other ones for me, yeah, I'm on the ground. So, um, but anyway, but stepping up in strength and um, again, I would say this gives you the true taste of what burley leaf tastes like is mm -hmm, H. H. Burley Flake, McBaron. Um, very, 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 very good um, flake, you know, and it just kind of tastes like peanuts, to be honest with you, kind of a nutty uh, taste. But the strength is stronger, so um, that's something that I would recommend um, if you if you like Burleys or you want to step up maybe after you've had your first bowl or two, you know. Um, moving down the line, uh, Virginias, which I really do enjoy Virginias, and, and Virginias typically do have um, a little bit higher nicotine content, um, but again, if you eat with them, you smoke slow, you know, all that can help. Um, they're going to have more of like a grassy hay profile or a... Uh, usually there's a little bit of perique with it. That's the other one I always forget, perique. I don't know why. Um, perique's kind of like a plummy, raisiny fig. Uh, really, really enjoyable. Um, but this one here I've found to be pretty low in nicotine, and I really enjoy it, and a lot of people enjoy it. And it's it's one kind of Virginia, and I'll show you another one here in a second. But Orlick Golden Sliced. Um, it was, I think, it was, yeah, it was my first Virginia. Um... I'm pretty sure. So, um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy it. It's just a nice, mellow Virginia. Um, can get a little hot, but not bad. Um, so Orlick Golden Slice. If we want to step kind of into a little bit more mature Virginia, so like these, the Orlick um, profile is going to be citrus, bright grass, hay. It's kind of, it's kind of lively, kind of, you know, almost a little, just... Young, you can just tell it when you're when you're smoking it. But anyway, if we step up a little bit, um, Peterson Flake, formerly Dunhill, and then I wish I had Dark Flake, but it hasn't come out yet as of this recording of this video. So um, those are a little bit more deep, um, fermented. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping today. Um, moldering hay, kind of. Um, I know it sounds. And for for you new guys out there and gals. Because um, I know when I first heard these words, I was like, ugh, the hell you want to do that, you know? But it's not bad, and and it, it's interesting, but it's like a kind of like a more bready, yeasty, deep, again, kind of that fermented hay grass. And it sounds horrible, but it's not bad. Um, whereas this is like fresh cut grass, like... Um, you know, you roll a bale of hay. I, I mean, I'm from Kentucky, so we have farms all over the place. You know, you smell that fresh hay, that fresh, um, that's what this is. Whereas Peterson Dunhill Flake and then also Dark Flake Dunhill, which is now Peterson, Peterson Dark Flake, much darker, richer, going to be more of like your, your steak and potato kind of thing. Um, man, maybe more like chicken, chicken and potato. <laughs> um, because the last one I'm going to show you is more like steak and potato. Um, so anyway, and then moving to the most uh, full and decadent, speaking of that, is my favorite Balkan. Now, you're going to hear the terms Balkan in English, and you're going to go, what the hell? And hell, half of us still don't know what the hell they are. <laughs> I don't care what they say. Um, but essentially, what we think anyway is that Balkans are a little more Turkish uh, forward and then Englishes or Latakia forward. Now, um, Turkish is going to be a little more sour oriental, so it's going to be a little sour and kind of um, kind of tangy. 
a um, little bit of an incense kind of a kind of a thing. Uh, and then Latakia is definitely smoky, like a campfire, and woodsy and earthy, very deep and very uh, got some punch to it, and 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 can punch you in the nicotine department. So, but my favorite one, um, and I haven't found one that I like better yet, um, and I've been trying a lot of them is. Mississippi River Special Reserve. Now, Mississippi River. If you if you want to do that, that's that's perfectly fine. I think it's it's the same as Special Reserve. The only difference is to me is that the flavors are a little more pronounced in this. So you're going to get a lot more flavors coming through, and and it's very complex. Um, it would be the equivalent of eating a steak, like a filet mignon. Uh, smothered in butter, you know, um, rich, um, let's see, carrots, um, I'm just making, it doesn't taste like carrots, I'm just making a meal kind of in my head about kind of similar, um, definitely baked potato, um, with a glass of wine, and then you're gonna have a chocolate ganache cake for a dessert, I mean, that's the kind of heaviness that this is, um, so a lot of, a lot of guys and gals when they start don't want to go near Englishes. Um, I, I don't necessarily think that's wrong to stay away, but I don't necessarily think you should be scared of them. Um, but, uh, you know, I would say it, it just depends on what kind of person you are, what your smoking history has been, and who you're going to be around. These are not always the most crowd-pleasing um, tobaccos. They're just not. Um, you know, my wife, um, she tolerates this one. Um, she did not like Northwoods. She does not like, uh, we did, um, Adirondack Balkan. I mean, I've done a bunch of them. Quite, she didn't like Quiet Nights. I mean, there was tons of stuff that she doesn't like. Um, Virginia's, she, she doesn't mind because they're just not strong. Um, definitely she enjoys the OTCs and the, um, uh, aromatics. And, and, I, and I mean, you could almost argue that, argue that the OTCs are kind of aromatic, but they're, they're kind of, they're just their own class. So anyway, um, but I hope that helps. I know it was long, we're at almost 18 minutes, um, 17 minutes and 20 seconds, but I hope that helps you choose what kind of tobacco you might want to try for your first, first go with a pipe. So, all right, stay tuned and uh, we'll do another one where we say, how do you choose your pipe? So, all right, guys and gals, take care. Paladin out.